If you are looking for a weight loss treatment that doesn't involve surgery, you may have heard of Mungera. This new medication has been getting a lot of attention lately, with some people claiming that it is just as effective as bariatric surgery. So what's the truth? Is Mongera really worth all the hype, or is it better than Ozempic or Wigovi? Let's take a closer look at that evidence, okay? As you all know, I don't support pharmaceutical industry at all. My goal is to give you the best information out there so you do not get misinformed. So please don't throw me under the bus by saying that, oh, you're supporting the medications, da 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 da, da. I don't want to hear that. I know a lot of you have questions about these medications. I know it. That's why I'm here to give you the answers. Not only I will give you the answers about Mongero, but I will also make comparison against one of the most popular diabetes drug, Ozempic. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Mongero is an injectable medication, right? You take it once a week. It is first and only single module receptor agonist, MODFL, right? That acts on both GIP and GLP-1 receptors, which are incretin hormones. Yet it is similar to Ozempic and Trulicity, but also different. How? Well, Ozempic and Trulicity are both GLP-1 receptor agonists. However, they do not stimulate the GIP receptors. Mungero has a wide range of benefits and, of course, risks, you know, which we'll talk about that in a, in, in a minute, but also great ability to help with the weight loss. It has been demonstrated that it results in significant reductions in both total body weight and A1C levels. Now, Mungero functions in a number of different ways. Number one, it stimulates the insulin production, but only when your blood sugar is rising, which means that the likelihood of experiencing low blood sugar is significantly reduced. It lowers the amount of sugar that is produced by your liver as well, and the rate at which the food is transferred from the stomach into the intestines is also slowed down. Now, this makes it easier to maintain healthy blood sugar levels after eating and also keeps you feeling full for a longer period of time. Mungero has been shown over the course of a number of studies that are conducted over the course of the last couple of uh, few years that it has a significant impact on weight loss, A1C, and even cholesterol in people living with type 2 diabetes. Now, let's talk about the research on the results of the benefits of the Mungero. Now, in comparison to other diabetic medications, such as long-acting insulin or sulfonylureas, glipizide, glipride, etc., Mungero has shown promising results. Why? Well, the most recent Surmount 1 study, for example, included 2,539 participants who had an average starting body weight of 231 pounds. These people underwent a weight loss program. And over the course of the study, participants who took the lowest dose, which is 5 mg, shed around 15% of their body weight. Now, participants who took the higher dose of 10 and 15 mg approximately lost 20% of their body weight over the course of the study. More than half of the participants who took higher dose lost 20% of their body weight, whereas only 1.3% of participants who took placebo experienced this level of success. Many of the participants achieved a weight loss of 22.5% of their body weight, which is equivalent to approximately 52 pounds based on their initial weight of 231 pounds. Up to 57% of participants achieved a 20% reduction in body weight and maintained total loss over the course of the treatment over 72 weeks. Now, every single cardiometabolic indicator showed an upward trend, including the blood pressure, triglycerides, body mass index, A1C. Now, additionally, there are some interesting findings in that study, the Surmount study, and they include the following. Now, for example, prediabetes. Greater than 95% of participants diagnosed with prediabetes achieved normal blood sugar levels. Also, uh, fasting insulin levels decreased by around 5 units on Mungero, if they are taking insulin, right? And that resulted also over overall 47% reduction in insulin use. Now, by the way, remember, 
we're talking about Monjero here, but I want you to remember something. The similar things happen in our Sugar MB Advanced Glucose Support Formula. So if you cannot afford Monjero, or if you, your insurance doesn't cover Monjero, or if you don't want to go into donut hole because it's a thousand dollar medication that you will end up paying most of it yourself after half of the year, then Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support will do very similar results. Now, when it comes to weight loss, it's not as great as Monjero, but when it comes to lowering blood sugar, you can see it yourself how effective it is, especially for people who cannot use these medications because of expense or side effects. Now, back to Monjero. The waist circumference, for example, in comparison to people who took Monjero experienced a waist circumference reduction that was five times greater. Now, changes in total body mass and reduction of around 8.2% when taking the placebo, for example, and a reduction of 33% when taking the Monjero. It's a big difference, right? Now, during the years prior to this one, a number of important studies were conducted on Monjero as well. And these include uh, studies called SURPASS-3, SURPASS-5, and SURPASS-2. More than 13,000 people participated in the most recent phase of that uh, drug, which is SURPASS-4, and that was recently completed as well. Participants in this trial, basically their A1C level started at around 8%, then they experienced a reduction of approximately 2.5 percentage points. Take for instance a decrease from 9.5 to 7% happened. Results from SURPASS-4 indicate that 91% of participants achieved an A1C of 7% or lower, and 43% of participants achieved an A1C of 5.7% or lower. Now back to weight loss. When compared to any other diabetes medication, Mungero demonstrated the most significant and important amount of weight loss. After 52 weeks, the trial participants who received that highest dose of Monjero, which is 15 mg, lost 27 pounds, while those who received the lowest dose lost approximately 17 pounds. Now remember, these are different studies, so numbers can be a little different, so don't get thrown off by me saying different numbers between different studies. Now when it comes to low blood sugar, the risk is reduced compared to, of course, taking insulin or sulfonylurea medications. Now, it is true that Monjero has the potential to lower blood sugar levels, but also low blood sugar potential is significantly lower unless you are taking this with other medications. So if you're taking it Monjero by itself, the chances of low blood sugar is going to be low. The high dose of Monjero or the highest dose of Monjero reduced the cholesterol by 5% and triglycerides by 22% and LDL cholesterol by 8%. So there was even an increase in the HDL, which is your good cholesterol, by 11% after 52 weeks of treatment. Now, uh, looking at the efficacy and safety of current treatments for obesity, let's touch on a little bit on the Ozempic, which a lot of you have heard about, have been on it, etc. But Monjero has been heavily also compared to Novo Nordisk Ozempic, which is not new. It's been in the market for a while. And currently the most effective FDA approved diabetes medication that helps with the weight loss as well. Most research findings indicate and support that Monjero is effective a little bit more than Ozempic. But Novo Nordisk also points out that the Ozempic studies were not as long as Lily's study, which is Monjero's study, making the weight loss comparison a mismatch. Also, there was a, uh, the difference was not that great either. In addition, Ozempic company says that they had fever side effects in their people, and actually that's true when, when they did the Monjero compared to Ozempic, people on Ozempic had much less side effects. So if you're on Ozempic, I wouldn't rock the boat. I wouldn't just go jump on Monjero if Ozempic is working for you. Monjero is probably not gonna do too much of anything. Now, GLP-1 agonists overall may not be able to prevent obesity or combat the psychological fact factors that may play a role in your obesity. So it's not necessarily still a miracle, right? But it can help reset your entire metabolic system that is offered by this GLP-1 agonist. So Trulicity, Mungero, Ozempic, you name it, all of them actually help, right? All of these people who stopped the Ozempic or Mungero, they all gained the weight back. So remember, you go on these medications, 
you you can come off of it it's not a life terms lifelong sentence but you will gain the weight back and your a1c will shoot up again and it can be very costly right so what about bariatric surgery well initial weight loss is around 30 percent when you do bariatric surgery now significant progress has been made in the last 60 years and it is significantly safer now than it was 30 40 years ago but it is still not more effective than intensive lifestyle therapy in the long run because people end up gaining weight even after surgery like 10 to 15 years later so if you're not paying attention to your lifestyle it's just not going to happen not everything will come back and haunt you on the long term again decreased calorie consumption or absorption is the key to that to long-term weight loss uh, there is again still no universally applicable formula for success and Munjaro is no exception to that okay so don't think that I am promoting Munjaro everybody needs to be on Munjaro or Ozempic I'm not saying that again after stopping the Munjaro all those study participants gained the weight back okay so if you don't think that your insurance will cover that medication forever for you don't even get started that's my advice you now I would suggest dealing with your self-discipline uh, fasting uh, exercise reducing the calories you know eating healthy fats instead of carbs and of course using holistic homeopathic supplements will definitely help you overall safety of Mongero is you know fairly comparable to most obesity and type 2 medications so I don't see a major safety concern when it comes to Mongero if you made your mind on going on Mongero at this point now the most common side effects would be digestive issues and discomfort you know you will have uh, some loose stools diarrhea abdominal pain some headaches can happen in the first week of treatment or first weeks of treatment you will see the most side effects or every time you increase the dose you will have some side effects if you're on birth control pills you know you have to actually use extra protection because Monjera will affect the birth control pills efficacy as well so but in the long run you know if you're careful about the side effects or if you can put up with the side effects then most of the side effects will go away and uh, you will probably be happy provided that you can stay on the medication like I said the moment you stop the medication you lose all the benefits that you have gained again remember heartburn if you have heartburn if you are already vomiting if you have gastrointestinal problems to begin with I would say stay away from these medications okay burping is an annoying one that I hear from sometime from my patients as well now headache is reported commonly if you have tendency for uh, headaches hair loss dizziness and injection site reactions also have been reported so guys I hope I gave you a balanced review of this medication and if I did give a thumbs up okay and subscribe guess what we have hundreds and hundreds of videos all about diabetes weight loss fasting medications supplements you name it I am an integrative medicine specialist so I don't promote medications or supplements only I, I promote everything lifestyle if necessary holistic uh, homeopathic regimens or supplements and if necessary medications I think you have to keep an open mind to everything and I hope you success and make sure you share this video with friends and family and all you have to do when you search for something that you are thinking about diabetes just put the keyword sugar MD in everything you search for and you will find something I promise talk to you later hey guys I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there I think that will help you too